Hey y'all, it's CJ from Smoky Beginnings. In this video, I'll be sharing my secrets on how to make and charcoal grill hamburgers. I'll go over choosing the right ingredients, how to prepare the patties, how to set up the grill, and if you stick around, I'll give you five tips along the way on how to grill the perfect burger and how to avoid common mistakes. Whether you grill all the time or just starting to learn how to grill, these tips will make your burgers stand out. So if you're ready to take your burger game to the next level, then I'm ready. Let's go. The key to achieving juicy and flavorful burgers lies in using high quality ingredients, particularly premium ground beef. In today's recipe, I'll be using brisket that I personally ground up. If you're interested in learning how to grind your own brisket, I've covered the entire process in detail in a previous video. Stay tuned until the end of this video where I'll share a link to that video. And while I have you here, don't forget the like and subscribe buttons. When you subscribe, not only does it show your support, but it also helps the channel reach more people, allowing me to deliver great content to others. Now let's consider why I've opted for ground brisket in this recipe. Firstly, it boasts an ideal 80 to 20 meat to fat ratio, ensuring that our burgers are moist and flavorful. Additionally, ground brisket comes from a single animal, providing consistent quality and flavor throughout. Unlike ground beef, which may be sourced from various cuts, ground brisket offers uniformity in taste and texture. Finally, choosing a whole brisket can often be more cost effective per pound compared to traditional ground beef. Let's make some burger sauce. By combining ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, some Worcestershire sauce, and some diced pickles. I'll leave the link to this full recipe down below. Now it's time to season the patties. One great way to pack your patties with flavor is by using onion soup mix as the seasoning. I love using this as the onion, salt, buttermilk, and chives in the onion soup mix perfectly complement the meat and fat content of the patties. If you don't want to use the French onion soup mix, then opt for your favorite barbecue rub. Let's move on to preparing the patties. Start by shaping the meat into balls and then gently flatten them into patties. While handmade patties have their charm, they may lack consistency in thickness and shape. That's why I recommend using a burger press. With a burger press, you can achieve perfectly shaped patties with consistent thickness, resulting in evenly grilled burgers. Check the description below for a link to the burger press. And here's a pro tip. Use your thumb to create a slight indentation in the center of each patty. This prevents them from puffing up during grilling. The indent doesn't need to be large, just gently press with your thumb. Once you season the patties, place them in the refrigerator to keep them cool and allow the seasoning to penetrate. While the patties are chilling, let's move on to setting up the grill. To get started, light a full charcoal chimney, wait until the coals are glowing red and covered in ash, which indicates they're ready for grilling. Once the coals are ready, it's time to arrange the coals for a two-zone fire. With a two-zone fire, one side should be hot and possibly flaming, while the other side should be cooler. This setup provides the ideal balance of heat for grilling our burgers. It is also pretty easy to accomplish. All that you have to do is stack the coals on one side of the grill while leaving the other side of the grill empty. Some additional tips here are we want to preheat the grill grates before placing the burgers on the grill. This helps prevent sticking and ensures beautiful grill marks. We also want to clean and oil the grates this creates a non-stick surface and adds flavors to the burgers. And finally, consider using wood chips for an extra layer of flavor. Keep in mind that different wood varieties like mesquite, hickory, or in our case, applewood can impart unique smoky flavors to your burgers. If you found those tips helpful, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I release new videos every week 
packed with even more awesome tips that you don't want to miss. With the grill preheated and ready, it's time to start cooking our burgers. Begin by placing the patties over the hot side of the grill and let them cook for about four to five minutes per side for a medium rare doneness level. Keep in mind that the internal temperature for medium rare burgers should reach around 130 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. For those aiming for a medium level of doneness, aim for an internal temperature of around 145 degrees Fahrenheit with an average cook time of seven to eight minutes per side. A medium well burger should have an internal temperature of 150 degrees to 155 degrees Fahrenheit, taking approximately nine minutes to cook per side. And finally, a well done burger will have an internal temperature of 160 to 165 degrees Fahrenheit and should cook for around 10 minutes per side. Here are five tips for grilling the perfect homemade burgers. Tip number one, while the beef patties are cooking, resist the urge to press down on the patties as this will result in the loss of those precious juices. Tip number two, keep a close eye on the grill temperature and if the burgers are cooking too quickly, move them to the cooler side to avoid burning. Conversely, if they're not getting a nice sear, transfer them to the hotter side to intensify the heat. Tip number three, investing in a meat probe is highly recommended. Using a meat probe ensures that your burgers cook evenly and reach the desired level of doneness. I have a link in the description to my preferred meat probe. Piggybacking off the last tip, tip number four is aim to remove your burgers from the grill when they're about five degrees below your desired level of doneness as the burgers continue to cook slightly after being removed from the heat. And tip number five, be cautious of flare ups caused by dripping flat. If flare ups occur, simply move the burgers to a cooler part of the grill until the flames subside. Now onto the best part, adding the cheese. As our burgers near perfection, it's time to introduce that irresistible ooey gooey goodness. For the perfect melt, flip the burgers and place the cheese directly onto the hot side of the patty, allowing it to melt beautifully. A good indicator that your burgers are ready to flip is that there should be some liquid forming on top of the patties. It almost looks as if they're sweating. In regards to the type of cheese, today I'm opting for classic American cheese slices because it has unparalleled ability to achieve the perfect melt. I'm going to add two slices of American cheese to the patties because if I'm going to clog my arteries, I might as well really clog them up, right? Feel free to experiment with different cheeses to suit your taste preferences. If you want a spicy kick, use some pepper jack. Now, once the cheese has melted and you're about five degrees away from your desired internal temperature, it's time to remove the burgers from the grill and allow the burgers to rest. This last step ensures that the juices are redistributed through the meat and that every bite is bursting with flavor and juiciness. With our patties cooked to juicy perfection and cheese melted to perfection, it's time to assemble our burgers. Start by toasting the buns on the grill. Today, I'm using brioche buns. Add a thin layer of mayonnaise to get a perfectly toasted bun. After toasting the buns, add a patty to the lower bun Add a layer of your favorite toppings, such as fresh tomato slices, crisp lettuce, thinly sliced onions, of course some bacon, and for an added touch of flavor, drizzle on some burger sauce. Once you have all your toppings added, it's time to add the lid and enjoy. And there you have it. That's how to make and charcoal grill the perfect hamburger at home. Serve these burgers alongside your favorite sides, like crispy fries, tangy coleslaw, or a refreshing salad. I hope you found these grilling tips helpful. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe, as that is the best way to support the channel. And if you really like this video, make sure to check out the playlist suggested at the end. It's all about charcoal grilling. There are videos about grilling hot dogs, sausages, steaks, chicken wings, and a whole bunch of other great recipes. 
And speaking of, of great recipes, make sure to check out my website, smokybeginnings.com. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.